accountable talk in algebra. As more is understood about how people learn, we can take advantage of that understanding in teaching and in learning. Accountable talk is one of the principles of learning popularized in education circles by Dr. Lauren Resnick of the University of Pittsburgh. A traditional style of teaching is where a teacher lectures and students listen and take notes to try to get the most out of the teacher's or professor's knowledge and wisdom. The principle of accountable talk puts the responsibility for learning primarily with the students and not directly with the teacher or professor. In a classroom where accountable talk occurs, the teacher is not the focal point of the attention or activity most of the time, but rather the students themselves. Students share ideas with each other, essentially teaching each other, greatly enhancing the effectiveness of learning over a more traditional lecture format. Here are two of my colleagues, Ahmad and Angela, engaged in accountable talk at a recent training session. Is this way of learning more effective than the traditional method? Yes, perhaps 20 times as effective. Here's a recent problem in my class that was the cause of a lot of accountable talk in algebra around our school. Which graph could best model the path of an Olympic diver's 10 meter platform dive? A, a line with a positive slope. B, a line with a negative slope. C, a parabola that opens up. D, a parabola that opens down. As a result of exposing students to this problem where they were working in groups, Many instances of accountable talk were reported around Lincoln High School. Here's a picture of Aunt Adriana, who used her drawing of a parabola to justify her understanding of the problem to Charles, with whom she was having a spirited discussion. Note that the inverted green parabola has a y-intercept of 10, representing 10 meters. Correctly applying her knowledge of quadratic functions to a problem of a physical, real-world situation. The following video clip is of two of my students, Geometric and Marxus, having a good discussion on how to work a problem in algebra involving using algebra to follow patterns and make predictions. We have just seen three examples of accountable talk in algebra. What do these instances have in common? The teacher in each instance was not much in evidence, yet the teacher played a very important role. First of all, correct content was given followed by a challenging or rigorous student task. The teacher also facilitated the learning either by arranging the groups or allowing the groups to form naturally and then by mostly staying out of the way, but ready to fill in and assist students when needed. Sometimes when accountable talk goes on, discussions can become a little heated or maybe even very heated. The emotional intensity of students explaining and defending positions helps students learn. The effective teacher using accountable talk rewards students willing to take a position, whether they are right or wrong. It's when students aren't afraid to make mistakes that students will best learn from their investment. In the diving problem, Adriana turned out to be correct, but Charles' opposing position was every bit as important to the learning process. This has been Accountable Talk in Algebra. Thanks for viewing.